So we'll make a steady walk back to the car park now through this muddy path. As I want to explain the next series which is coming up on Tuesday, which will be Croatia. So as I've already discussed in my other videos on YouTube, I will be taking the A38 all the way down to Bassett's Pole. I'm not going to touch the motorway at all. I'm not risking getting stuck in traffic or roadworks or congestion or whatever, or accidents. Plus it's, the, plus it's a working day, it's a school day as well on a Tuesday. Kids are going to school, not at six o'clock in the morning, I know, but this is Birmingham we're talking about, not up where I am at the moment. I know the roads are worse down there with congestion. So even though the flight's not till lunchtime, I want to make sure that I'm through my stressful bit, which of course is the security and the check-in period. But I know the check-in won't be a problem, the security might be. But then again, it might be a lot quieter now because of school holidays being over. But again, I don't want to jinx that. Um, but I have got the peace of mind that I've got a fast track ticket. So that's a good thing. And I can always find a member of the staff at the airport and just say, well, I've got a fast track ticket. And then I'll just follow their direction. Because I'm pretty sure I will be through security within the time that, that I have to be. Even if I have to wait half an hour, 40 minutes in a queue. It's better than getting through and being told at the gate you can't board because you're late. So the advantage for me is, unlike the family from staff which I mentioned the other day, I'm checking in at least four hours before the flight, maybe even more than four hours before. So I should aim to be down at Birmingham Airport car park by at least 7.15, 7.30 if there is a bit of traffic. And if I have to wait for a bit for checking, so be it. But I personally don't think there'll be an issue there. Because I've just remembered that when I last went from Birmingham in 2022 in the May with Jet 2, I got to the airport at 3 o'clock in the morning for a 25 to 8 flight. And then the staff said, where are you flying to? And I said, Dubrovnik. And they said, yeah, join the queue. And then when I got to the end of the queue, there was a girl with a clipboard asking people where they were flying to. And of course I said Dubrovnik and she said, oh no, you, it doesn't open till 25 to 5. And my fast track ticket was booked for 4 a.m. So I thought, oh dear, I'm not going to be able to use it. But thankfully I was, because cut a long story short, I was able to check in at half past four. And then I met another couple called Robin and Sandra who had never been to Dubrovnik before. Um, I ended up being their tour guide in the end, <laughs> of course. But we got to security at 10 to 5, the queue was moving, and I said to the lady at the security, I've got a fast track ticket, and it was booked for 4 o'clock. And she said, don't worry, you can still use it, just go across to the normal, into the normal entrance, and then just cut across. And then I was in departures by 5am, so in total that was two hours. And I've still boarded the flight at tw for the 25 to 8 departure. So, but in this case, it's a midday flight. So, I'm hoping to be through checking and security by at least eight o'clock, half eight, at the earliest. If not, then it'll be a nine o'clock check-in, which is what the so-called boarding pass says. But I actually pick up a boarding pass at check-in. <laughs> Even though I've got a printout, it's not a boarding pass. I have to go to the check-in desk with it. But my fast track is booked for nine, so that's only five minute difference because apparently you can use the fast track ticket one hour before you're booking and one hour after it. So if my ticket's booked for nine, which it is, I can actually use the fast track at eight o'clock if I'm checked in before then. And I can use it between nine and 10. So it's not a problem. So I'm not going to lose my fast track ticket or the money I spent on it. Because I will just go straight to the security area and I know you have to go down to the two section and go down a separate path to the express lane, but I will always ask somebody on the way down and just say, oh, I've got fast track booked. And then they will direct me. I'll try and do a little video in the airport. I know they frown upon you doing videos in airports and taking photographs, but I have generally done it. So 
we'll just see. I'll just stop a minute because there's another squirrel just gone up there. He's just behind this tree. That's the fourth one now. He's there, look, on the branch. There he is. You see him in on him.